What's up, Jet Team? Ryan here. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm a former F-15E combat fighter pilot, F-16 Thunderbird pilot, and current commercial pilot, and I use that experience to break down epic aviation videos and stories. You can send those to me on my Instagram. And today, I'm gonna to be giving you a behind-the-scenes tour of the Thunderbird Museum and headquarters. I'm gonna be pausing the video throughout and giving you some behind-the-scenes details, and at the very end of this video, I'm gonna give you some footage that I know you haven't seen before that I think you're just gonna enjoy. But before we get going, if you would, just poof, dominate that like button for me, maybe even subscribe. Every time you like and subscribe, a Thunderbird pilot somewhere gets their wings. <laughs> Let's dive in. Today we're gonna talk about history. And it's important to be proud of your history. Here we are, where I started out with the Thunderbirds. And I'm excited to give you an inside scoop and an inside tour. Let's dive in, come along with me. Let's check it out. It's gonna be awesome. Who is this guy? I mean, pff, who does he think he is? <laughs> All right, so right off the bat, guys, this is a mural of all the aircraft that the Thunderbirds have flown. And it's right behind the briefing table that you're gonna see in a second where we would brief different VIPs and we would brief for photo missions with different aircraft pilots. I mean, just an inspiring mural to have behind your briefing table. There's that briefing table. You can see the number on it. That's the number two in the foreground, but every pilot has their own spot and it just keeps things a little easier for the brief. So this is a cool display that's in that briefing room. And obviously the Thunderbird name is a nod to the heritage of the Southwestern United States and the Native Americans. So really cool to have that in there. And some behind the scenes information, guys. The Thunderbirds actually started out as the Sky Blazers with a US Air Force squadron in Europe. They later moved moved to Luke Air Force Base and became the Stardusters. <laughs> so they were the Stardusters for the first six air shows of when they became a thing in 1953. And then someone wised up and said, we got to sound cooler on the radio. Let's change the name to the Thunderbirds. <laughs> so that's what they did. And since 1953, they've been known as the Thunderbirds. This is a wall of photos of the Thunderbirds who then became generals. Fig Newton is on that wall, and he was the first African-American Thunderbird who later became a four-star general. More on him later. Epic. There's that mural. Just a really cool place to brief for a sortie. Ah, oh, man. Always enjoyed that. All right, guys, I wanted to share this with you. This is a really cool picture of the team standing in the Oval Office, and this is Fifi Malakowski. Uh, female pilot right there. She's the first female Thunderbird pilot, and she was my squadron commander in the F-15E, super solid pilot. Uh, she was known throughout the fighter pilot community as just being someone that you wanna to go to war with. So really cool that they've got her up here, this photo. All right, gotta do a scan through the presidents. You gotta balance it out. <laughs> it was pretty cool, no matter what their political affiliation was, I always felt like there was support from the president for the Thunderbirds, really cool. And then, this is just a cool eagle statue that I saw, so yeah. caught my attention. Then there's just the scan of the room, again, giving you just a feel of what it would be like to brief for a flight in there. Hey guys, a little background. So when you come into this museum, you'll most likely find the jet like this because the Solos like to put this jet upside down. As you can see, it's the number one jet. So the boss will roll out and put it back right side up. That's how he wants it. For me, I'd always just try to do something different. So every time I walk past it, I'm just give it an aileron roll. Always do an aileron roll, give it a chance. All right, guys, so you know some of my principles for the fighter pilot world. The first one is give people cool call signs. All fighter pilots should have a call sign that they're proud of. The second one is sound cool on the radio, which is probably why the Thunderbirds changed their name from the Stardusters to the Thunderbirds, so good call on that. And then the third one is given the chance and you're in a safe part of the airspace, do an aileron roll because it just feels good. Even if you're flying DCS, go ahead, do an aileron roll, I'll wait. All right, this is Gerard Butler. He flew with the team when I was there. I met him at the Daytona 500 and we chatted a lot about him flying. I'm super glad that it worked out. Got Captain Marvel up there, Brie Larson. Then we got Vincent Jackson. So a lot of celebrities and athletes will come fly with the team. Just a way for them to get exposure to the military and then for us to get exposure through their different platforms. All right, so this group of Thunderbirds there standing in that photo, we got Tread on the right, then Tater next to him, and then we got Gate and then Jaws. These are just 
epic Thunderbird pilots. I got to fly with all of them. Really proud to have done that. It's solid. We'll do a quick scan now just through some of the displays here. So the Fort Worth Alliance Air Show in Texas is one of the homesteads of the Thunderbirds. So they always give us a pair of boots every year. It's a cool tradition there. And then an air show in Hawaii, we were given a surfboard. I heard that was a really hard trip over there. You know, seven days in Hawaii was just really rough, I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the team. So the Thunderbirds doesn't work without over 100 people. So there's officers, there's enlisted members, everything from maintenance professionals to people that work on the computers, people that do public affairs, it's one big team. And without all of us, the Thunderbirds would not happen. And then even more than that, the team of 100 plus people represents 700,000 plus men and women who are around the globe right now as you're watching this video that are protecting our freedom and keeping us safe. So that's what the Thunderbirds are there for and they're there to inspire all of us no matter you know what your job is to just go out there and crush it and potentially pursue a dream that's going to make your life better and make the lives of those around you better. So getting to do that and getting to see that as a Thunderbird pilot was incredible, but again, nothing would happen without the team. So hopefully you can apply that to whatever you're up to right now. Okay, who do you think would win in a race? An F1 supercar or a Thunderbird F16? Let me know in the comments below. I'm also told I need to watch the series F1, so let me know if you think I should do that as well. You got Joe Montana down there. Uh, just, you know, people that love adrenaline, right? So the Daytona 500, you know, supercars. Those are the type of people that also really enjoy the Thunderbirds, you know? So there's the Academy graduation, got the Daytona 500 there. So I wonder if they should do the Academy graduation at the Daytona 500. <laughs> Could you imagine? That'd be epic. Like the flyover happens at the Daytona and then the hats fly up in the air. I'm all for it. Come on, Air Force, let's make it happen. This is the photo of the Diamond pilots that crashed in the T-38, guys. So on the left side of the photo, you've got the three pilots that were following the leader who was on the right. A lot of controversy behind that. There's actually a huge mural to that every time we went into our briefing room that was upstairs to remind us to stay safe. This is a good friend of mine. This is Stephen Cajun Del Bagno, one of the most epic guys I've ever known. Unfortunately, he died in a Thunderbird crash in 2018, but his legend lives on, and the way that he approached life was just inspiring. There is a uh, depiction of the different jets that the Thunderbirds have flown. All right, so on the left side there, you've got Fifi Malakowski, and I told you about her a little bit earlier. One of the best pilots I've ever come across. Super cool that she was my squadron commander in the F-15E. And talk about a trailblazer. You know, she's the first woman Thunderbird pilot, and she earned it every step of the way. And I think that's something that people really respected her for. And then speaking of earning it, you've got Fig Newton, who's in the middle there, first African-American Thunderbird pilot, went on to become a four-star general, just one of the most epic pilots that has ever been a Thunderbird. So he earned it every step of the way as well, and again, just super inspiring figure. And then every member of the team is up there on the screen, and sometimes they have it where you can actually tap the screen and it'll show you the past Thunderbirds that have been in that position. There's just a nice scan overview of the museum. So there you go, guys. There's your behind the scenes tour of the Thunderbird Museum. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, I'm a man of my word. I'm gonna give you that bonus footage that I told you I would give you at the beginning of this video because you made it to the very end. And this is related to a script that I'm writing with a Hollywood script writer about a competitor to Top Gun. So some of the legend for this film will come from this figure who you're about to see right now. This is Robin Olds. He's essentially the Zeus of fighter pilots. He just embodies the youthful, vibrant fighter pilot, and he's essentially the genesis for the characters that I'm building in this new movie that we're gonna create. So I'm really excited to share that with you more later down the line. I can't really talk about it too much right now, but Robin Olds is one of the most epic pilots the Air Force has ever had. So 
I'll give you more information on Robin Olds. I'll probably do a full video on him down the line. So there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that tour of the Thunderbird hangar and that bonus material. Before you go, if you would, just dominate that like button for me, maybe even subscribe. Every time you like and subscribe, you give a Thunderbird pilot their wings. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Most of all, have a great day.